What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to type text in a text box and that way we can use that, you know, input text in what we want. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is right click, go to user interface and create a new widget blueprint and it will be normal user widget and let's name this something as wb underscore input text. Let me open this up and the first thing I need to do is drag in a canvas panel to the hierarchy that way I can start to place things. So if we go to the input category, we can find a text box, which is what we want. So now we can just drag this, make it a bit bigger and you set the anchor to be at the center and then put the X and Y at zero. But then put an alignment of 0.5 and 0.5. That way it is exactly at the center. So if now I go to the third person character blueprint and in the begin play I create a new widget and you say to create the input text and add this to the viewport you will see that now I indeed see the text so I'm gonna do one thing which is to get the player controller and then you set the input to be different so we're gonna set the input mode to get just game and UI only and then I'm gonna set the widget to focus this one and then set the show mouse cursor to be true that way we can see our mouse and of course click on stuff so if I now press play I can select this you know text box and begin to type and we're good to go but of course now we need to do something with that text that we are typing so if I select the text box and go down we have this little events which is on text changed and committed so change is basically when we start to type and committed is when we press enter so if we go into committed which is when we finally you know type what we can do is create a new variable which is going to be the uh let's say player name right imagine that we're trying to fill in a player name set this to a string because it's basically a string and then i set it what I can do is get the text and boom, there we go, convert it from text to player ref. And now if we have it on this variable. I can go ahead and, you know, print on here. And if I go and type player one and press enter, we can see player one appearing here. So it is being saved on this variable once we press enter on the keyboard or whatever, which is really cool. And now, of course, we can use this to do other things, right? For example, I can now go and uh, you know pass this information to the player or whatever you want another thing that we can do is go here and just put text right over here put it to be centered anchor at the top right and then just go and center this again and change it like this and change the font to be a bit bigger right and then what i can do is just mark this as text block Put it as an is variable and then i can drag this text block set the text with this function to be this player name variable and with that when i go ahead and press play and start to type hello you can see now it fills in and that's good so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember to have full access to the private files through patreon or youtube members join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes the thought said bye bye